We were sent out to an old outpost in the sticks. We had to guard this ancient village for one week. When we relieved the previous squad, they were in a rush to leave and to give us a tour of the camp. They looked like they hadn't slept in a week. We asked what was up, and all they said was, don't trust your eyes and ears at night. We shrugged it off, and they departed without anything further to say. I was on night watch duty for the whole stint. The first night wasn't too bad until I thought I saw some ghosts blow in the main square. Surely it was just my imagination. The second night, I saw demons of some kind walking around upright. I thought about telling the guys when I went to sleep when they took over the daytime shift, but didn't. On the third night, I heard Helen in the distance, probably some local wildlife, might have been some dog or wolf in the shadows, but I couldn't be certain. You 69th Division, I reckon. Yeah, that's us. You'll be relieved in one week. You gonna give us a tour or not? Nah, you'll figure it out. Just remember what I said. Don't trust your eyes and your ears at night. Say what now? Just keep it together, especially at night. like a fire deep below was brewing, and I could hear faint screams. I thought it could be a hole to hell considering the weird shit I saw the previous nights. But on the fifth night, my imagination got the better of me. I shit you not. The hole was there again, and this time some devilish monsters came out of it and strolled around. Finally, on the sixth night, I witnessed beastly hellhounds patrolling around as all the monsters and ghosts were all contained in the square itself. The next morning, I skipped getting some shut-eye and went on patrol by myself in the square and found some rotten animal corpses that had been mauled by something unearthly. It was in place of where the hellhole had been the previous nights. I went to Sarge right away and told him everything that occurred. I convinced him I couldn't do it anymore. Night watch duty on my own again. He didn't believe me at first and took that night shift to prove me otherwise. The next morning, I found him huddled in a corner mumbling to himself. When I questioned him about what happened, he told me a story of his previous year where his whole platoon was KIA except him. He was the last man standing that day. He convinced me never to talk about it, what I saw, or even his flashback. So we set off the next morning without giving the relief team a tour. I told them what had happened every night that week. All we said to them was, don't trust your eyes and ears at night. We took off just like we had when we arrived in a disheveled state knowing that hell was real and all the rest was too.